Hello, FBC Salinas. This is Pastor John coming to you with another edition of the Midweek Refresher video, where I desire to do two things. Number one, provide you some information, and number two, provide you some inspiration in the middle of your week. Hey, this is probably going to be one of the shortest midweeks we've ever had, and the reason being is that you have things to do, I have things to do, and more importantly, there's not a whole lot to talk about, except that Jesus, we get to celebrate his arrival this weekend. And so I want to go over the schedule real quickly. Christmas Eve on December 24th, 6 p.m. is when we're meeting for a candlelight service. This is always a wonderful experience to sing some Christmas carols, and not just carols, but these rich, rich songs with the great message of Jesus Christ's arrival and, and what that means. There'll be a short message with this. I encourage you to be there for this. It's going to be a wonderful time as we uh, celebrate the arrival of Jesus Christ. And then this Sunday, there is no spiritual formation class. It is at 1030 is when we're meeting to worship. And I want to say this very quickly. We desire to give as many volunteers a break this Christmas. Therefore, there will be no child care. There will be no coffee ministry during Christmas Day. And so we want you to be able to enjoy time if if you're the parent of a young uh, parents of young children and uh, knowing that and, and just the idea of them sitting with you through a whole service is something that you just find I I don't know if we can do it. That's okay. Stay home. Worship with us online. If you want to be there, we'd love to have you for love to have you worshiping with us this Christmas day, but we're trying to do what we can to respect and, and honor our volunteers as well as just uh, provide opportunity for families to gather, whether it be in person on campus or at home and worshiping with us that way. All right, so that's really it for the logistical informational portion. And I want to read you this very familiar passage, and it is found in Isaiah chapter 9. Listen to these words. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. This baby that came, Jesus Christ, is all of those things and so much more. And in, if he was only these four items, wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace, that'd be more than enough, wouldn't it? He's the prince of peace, reaches into our, our chaos and he gives us peace. He's the everlasting father where he's always looking out for our best interest. He is this mighty God that no matter what comes his way, he's mighty enough to handle it. And he is this wonderful counselor. He's there to provide the counsel that we need as we go through life. And just think about this. These four, wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace, all of those reside in this child who was born. And his name is Jesus Christ. May you take great comfort in that. May you and I both rejoice in the fact that God came to do what he did through Jesus Christ, and our lives are different because we have a God who cares for us. I love you. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Look forward to seeing you for Christmas Eve as well as on Christmas Day. God bless. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.